I've made my priority sleeping, relieving myself, and eating healthy food. And those were the main functions I had to get right in this build. And then everything else was going to be a bonus. So I met Ishan about a year and a half ago, and we had this instant connection. I think because for both of us, we hadn't yet met any married um, solo travelers who had left their husband at home. So we connected over that, and um, we've been friends ever since. And we've both experienced so many changes since that time. She started a YouTube channel called Blue Wonder Lady. She was living in her van at the time. Actually, I think her van may have been the very first van tour that I filmed. Like I said, that was about a year and a half ago. And I was just getting a starter myself. Since that time, Ishana has sold her minivan, which she called Blue Wonder. She also sold her home that was in Vermont. And she got her husband on board and purchased a Ford Transit that she has designed to meet both their needs as full-time nomads. So this is the van tour that I want to show you today. Um, it's a little bit different in that I want to highlight some of the main features that she designed for this van. So it's not going to show you all the little nooks and crannies and, um, you know, where she puts her underwear and all that stuff. This is more about how she designed her bed, um, why she chose the setup that she has for an indoor and an outdoor kitchen, and um, those types of um, things that I think you'll be very interested in seeing and knowing about. Now, she did not build the van herself. She hired a contractor to do that. She designed it, and she worked very, very closely with him. It was very well thought out from the material she used and the purpose behind why she used that material. You'll see a little bit more of those details on her channel, Blue Wonder Lady. As she was building the van, she filmed a lot of that. I hope to catch up with Ishana and her husband Ananda um, soon and do an interview with both of them to see how they're liking um, living full time in their new home on wheels. So for now, let's take a look at the van that they're traveling in together. And I also understand that Ishana still travels sometimes by herself, while Ananda sometimes goes off and also does his own thing. It's a balance, and I'm so happy that they discovered just how to do that for themselves. This looks like a separate room back here. Yeah, that was exactly what I was. See, watch, it'll be like I disappear. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and what's really sweet about this is, is you know, it's, uh, because, you know, I might be here working, standing, using this as a standing desk, or cooking, or I might be sitting in the chair. My view is different because the, peripherally I'm seeing this and not a bed not a bed or a couch it mm -hmm. just changes things up so I really like that I really like this too <laughs> this is fabulous thank you okay so what we'll do is we'll just take this down it comes down really easily Ta -da. this is uh, the bedroom slash living room slash den uh, there was a lot of thought that went into this it looks like it I like to think of a van build that is that works as uh, Maslow's hierarchy. Okay. And Maslow's hierarchy has the different levels of the pyramid. And on the bottom, it's, you know, it's relieving ourselves, it's sleeping, it's taking care of the necessary physiological functions. And then the next one is food and shelter and safety and all of that. And then we have belonging and then we have self enrichment and then we have. Uh, purpose of probably leaving something out but we have to take care of that foundation first before we can get to the other ones okay so I've made my priority sleeping relieving myself and eating healthy food 
and those were the main functions I had to get right in this build. And then everything else was going to be a bonus. So the bed is where I started because sleeping is, mm -hmm. is crucial. It's how you sleep is how you, how you live. So I, um, went ahead and designed this bed. It's a queen size and it is constructed with three elements. It has the two layers of latex. Okay. Right here, a medium and a firm. Mm -hmm. And it has that Froley system on the bottom. We'll show that after. Then um, I have a negative five degree sleeping bag. I'm ready for anything. And two boyfriends. So I could climb up in here in couch mode. Okay. I did not hinge it in the middle. That was a really important consideration. If you hinge it in the middle, you can end up with a really short, you know, short seat area in your oh, couch. Oh, yeah. I like to be able to sit cross-legged. I like to lean back. Like oh, look at you. <laughs> I like to, you know, go like this, you know, like that. Mm -hmm. And my husband does too. Mm -hmm. And he's six feet tall. So be because it's so deep, he can sit cross-legged too. Oh, and a trick. Okay. What's the trick? Well, and I haven't seen anybody else talk about this. In order to get your maximum width, which I also have a video about, okay. um, there are certain construction things you can do. But then, once it's all constructed, there's still something else you can do. And that is... I'm waiting. <laughs> you, you've got my attention. <laughs> now, let's see. If, do I have it here? Yep. This is my pillow. Now, in my case, I needed a cervical pillow because of neck stuff. But the width is what I want, I want to share with you. You can take latex or memory foam or whatever and cut it to whatever width you want. You don't have to use up this much space with your pillow. Or your head only needs this much space. Oh. The, the longer your pillow, the more you're shoved down. True. So you lose a lot of inches of width or length. I guess it would be length of your bed in, in your van. So the narrower your pillow, <laughs> okay. the, the more I have space not you have. heard anybody right. say this before. And I just stumbled into this. This was a purely by accident. Uh, Let's see the springs underneath the mattress. All right. Ta-da! Oh my gosh! <laughs> How did you think of this? <laughs> well, oh my gosh! Well, after struggling and suffering through uh, foam on plywood, <laughs> I knew I needed some bounce under me. Mm -hmm. And so I researched. Um, I don't know how I researched more bounce on bed without just getting porn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, luckily, the Froley system turned up. Froley the system. Froley system. And uh, RVers are using it more and more. It, it, these squares bent, have give in them. Yeah. And then these little beige crosses attached to one another mm -hmm. and depending on how close you place all of it because there are different holes so you have choices you get varying degrees of bounce or firmness mm -hmm. so you can totally customize it why are they different colors uh well the blue and the light blue uh, are different tensions uh, I think the light blue, it feels softer, so it bend, it bounces more easily mm -hmm. than this one, than the dark blue. And then there are also these red inserts you can put in, which I have on the front part, okay. where you need more support. Oh. So, you know, under shoulders, hips, you know, whatever you prefer. And what's really nice about this is you can have your side be arranged in a certain way. Mm -hmm. And then your partner can have their side arranged in a certain way because it's totally customizable. Is it a lot of trial and error fitting the pieces in and out no. and see if you want to have it a well, certain way? Well, for me, it was instantly better okay. and comfortable. I did not have to make any changes whatsoever. Okay. And uh, it's it rivals our $1,000 bed at home. Wow. Yeah. 
Yeah, I, I love this. With the two latex mattresses. Okay. So this is a firm and a medium latex mattress. Mm -hmm. they're, oh, wow. Yeah, they're three inches each, so six inches total of latex, which doesn't get rigid in the winter, in the cold weather, like memory foam does. So the entire system, the Froley Springs and the latex mattresses, are they're consistent mm -hmm. depending it uh, doesn't matter what the temperature is they're just consistent all year round. that's nice yeah really nice. i'm really happy with it these red crosses are inserted and you can take them in and out and place them wherever you need them and it makes it so that the the squares don't bend as much so you're adding firmness i added firmness on the outer edge since that's where i get in and out makes sense and then i add um yeah i think actually that's the only place i added firmness yeah because mm -hmm. i found that it was just fine in here so you can see that i have the light blue where my shoulders go yeah yeah and then I, you have holes also in your wood here for ventilation absolutely mm -hmm. yeah. there's nice nice holes in here too for ventilation Oh, yes. Yes, that's right. In the latex. Mm -hmm. That's actually how they make latex uh, different degrees of firmness. It's the number of holes they put in. Interesting. Yeah. So this one here. Mm-hmm. Oh, I see. <laughs> or, see, there's more holes here. Mm -hmm. They're in smaller the, holes. Smaller holes. The size of holes. Yep. Yeah, sorry. Okay. It's the size the of larger holes. Larger holes here. Yeah. Oh, that, I never knew that. Yeah. Learn something new every day, huh? Every day. Especially <laughs> in van life. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for showing us your bed. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Is this side here the same as this? I love what you did here. Oh, thank you. It's so cozy and so warm. Yeah. Yeah. You know, um, one of my dreams has been to have white shag carpet. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and... Uh, I don't know if it was growing up watching Scooby-Doo or what it was, but I always wanted a van with carpet all over the walls. Uh -huh. And, I, you know, that wasn't going to happen to yeah. have them all over the walls. So I found, I'm finding ways to get carpet on the walls. I love the softness of carpet, uh, wool carpet, wool carpet. And so, yeah, this is just here for uh, softening the feel. But, of course, it's going to add more insulation it as is. well. Mm -hmm. I'm going to probably do it on this other side as well. Okay. And uh, then underneath you, there's wool carpet as well. Mm -hmm. I love wool. It, it, it feels it's soft. The acoustics in wool. When you're in a room insulated with wool, the, I believe, I feel it, the acoustics are softer gentler okay yeah I'm very sensitive to that so one of the one of um, my favorite features is da, 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 da. <laughs> look at this oh my gosh <gasps> I love that and it just keeps coming see it's it's angled here uh, the the table is angled here mm -hmm. so it's not doesn't have a sharp corner so you can just keep it coming and we get it nice and close to you oh that is so nice and then of course because you know the seat is fully adjustable mm -hmm. you can change you know your angle you can just so many possibilities um, and it it's in here it's in here it swivels it's i don't know how dave did it but it swivels very very smoothly um and what's really nice is when the driver's seat has its swivel attached which it doesn't yet then both seats will be facing here, and um, this will also be a nice eating surface or work surface. Yeah. So this, I just love this feature. Um, it serves, it also just moves out of the way really easily like this. There's plenty of room for me to just walk around it without having to uh, fold it up, you know, and move it, but I can move it at the same time. So I just love that. Very nice feature. Um, did you design that or did he come up with that idea? I designed it. Yeah, I gave uh, Dave some raw, super raw <laughs> sketches. And, you know, I'm not great at all at making things pretty, but I'm really good at making them functional. So that's what my job was. Mm -hmm. I gave lots of sketches of how I wanted things and to work and move, and he figured out how to make that possible and how to make it pretty. Mm -hmm. And then he added some features as well that he thought of. 
You can cook here. Yeah, absolutely. You can cook up here. Absolutely. Or you said you can take it in the back and you can cook it in the back. And I have a second one in the back as well. So I can have uh -huh. two side by side. Oh, I see. So you're not moving the propane tank. Right. That's right. I have two stoves as well. Two stoves as well. Oh, yeah. That, you know, that's smart. Yeah. And because sometimes you have more than one thing going. And, and they're not expensive. Oh, no. They're, they're really like not. $35, I think. Mm -hmm. And it will run propane or butane. Yes. Which is great and I just I really like the idea too of um, if it's windy like it is today or raining I don't have to go get my stove from the back kitchen to bring it in to use mm -hmm. it you know, I already have one in here which do you prefer the propane or the butane I don't notice a difference I don't think I I, I pay attention I just what do you tend to use more uh, I like the butane because it's so compact mm -hmm. um, Right now, I'm only using propane because I have the gallon tank here mm -hmm. instead of having to keep track of all the little butane bottles. Okay. So right now, I'm using propane, but I'm not really thinking it through closely. I'm just, it was at hand, so that's what I'm using. Okay. Yeah. But I know that they have advantages. Like butane is, is it better or worse in the cold weather? Worse. Worse. Okay. And I don't plan to be in that cold of weather, mm -hmm. so I'll be fine with um, either one. I see that you have a Berkey. Indeed, I love the Berkey. This is a Berkey that's on a little plastic plate that I got from Walmart. It slides around beautifully. It also will contain any leaking that might happen through the gasket, uh, which hasn't happened yet, but it happened in the sticks and bricks. So I know to look out for that here. Okay. And what I do is I just uh, lift it up a little bit and then I can... Oh, I see, right on the edge of your... Okay. It's a travel Berkey. Uh, so there are a lot of advantages to this, I, I feel. Um, if you look inside, you'll see how small a space it actually is. So there's very, that's just enough water for a day, really, uh, oh, because okay. the, the cartridges take up a lot of room. They which do. Which is kind of perfect because it all is going to come down here. I'm going to use it up. And then I can just take it apart, right? Mm -hmm. It folds into itself. And that way when I'm going and driving, it's super easy. If it was a larger one, there would be all that excess water I haven't used yet. And mm -hmm. so stowing it for driving would be trickier. Okay. Or I'd have to fill up a, another container. So yeah. I really like the small one. It's a special fabric, isn't it? It is a non-toxic fabric. It has not been treated with anything flammable. It was on a chair. The, the same kind of fabric was on a chair in a co-working space that I fell in love with. I took a picture of it. And uh, the Dave, who did the van, found this fabric at Joanne's Fabrics. And it's insulated? It's insulated. The, the entire van is Havelock wool. Oh, wow. Um, it's really soft, you know, mm -hmm. um, and non-toxic again and it'll absorb that moisture and release it when it's the air is dry enough which will help prevent corrosion and mold mm -hmm. my husband is six feet tall so when he's here in the van he doesn't have to have his head connect contacting something hard it's soft padded and he's doing great with it then the beams here are also uh padded a bit and soft and insulated. Mm -hmm. They're all filled with the Havelock wool. So you have like wires and things going through there? or uh, We didn't add any wiring to no. the van. No, how about your lights? These were original to the van. Okay. Yeah, this is original. They turn on when I open the doors. Oh, I see. And uh, that's the only wiring. I didn't want to have wires that might um, get hit with a screw or something and then become a fire hazard so I just did not put any wiring in the walls or anything I like wood I like touching wood I like looking at wood mm -hmm. rather than metal right yeah it's aesthetically very pleasing I like the light wood it's very yeah. bright you know yeah it reflects the light well the um, the gloss is a semi gloss I believe mm -hmm. on the finish on the wood that way it would reflect some light, but some light, but not be glaring. And what type of wood is this? This is, again, non-toxic. There's no formaldehyde in here. Other toxins are left out. This is a plywood called Pure Bond. It's birch plywood. Yeah. And 
Dave, the builder again, was really thoughtful in that he made it so that the grains are lined up with each other. Yes, the they are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he, he, I really like how the bow of the ceiling is maintained. Mm -hmm. the, the sense of, the, well, the actual curvature, right? Mm -hmm. And the feeling, it's almost like being in a boat. Yes. Yeah. And it softens it again. You know, it, it's just, it, it just does softens soften it. it. This is a, an insulated cover for the fan. What was your thought process of putting it in the back here by your bed versus putting it up in the front where most people put it up in the front? Right, because they want to exhaust out the cooking mm -hmm. fumes, right? This window it was installed and it has the ability to manually be opened. I see that, yeah. You know, whereas the factory windows you can't open. When this is open and that fan across the room mm -hmm. is open, it creates a cross ventilation effect. Gotcha. If they were really close together or on the same section of the van, mm -hmm. then there would be cross ventilation between them, but not around the bed. Mm, okay. Yeah. So that that's why I did that. Um, your door slides so smoothly. It does. It, it seems wider than most. I, I don't know. Maybe not. The door? Yeah. Let's see, it's caught on this. The, I don't know if it's wider. This well, seems you know, like... It, it helps to not have the Yeah, big counter. A lot of people will have their big counter right here. Yeah. I think that matters. Yeah. I, I like being able to sit next to the door mm -hmm. and put my shoes on or immediately take them off if they're gunky. Mm -hmm. um, if I don't want to take them off outside. So, I, and I, I you know... Yeah, I think most people block that area. Yeah. With yeah. a big tall shelf. Yeah, which is fine. Totally yeah, fine. totally fine. But the way my husband and I, you know, our the way we flow in our just our daily life. We've lived in a lot of small spaces, so we can have a sense of it. We want the the entry area to be wide. Voila. <laughs> this is a basement, a kitchen, an office. A project area. It's everything. Back of the couch is up here, mm -hmm. which reveals this surface below it, which is a great place to place items mm -hmm. when using the kitchen. Oh my gosh! <laughs> and this can be more. This is more than a kitchen, though. How nice your builder made this. But it was your design, right? Yeah, it was my design. Um, Dave Vidum in New Hampshire is the builder, and he took all my raw drawings and made them work mm -hmm. and beautiful. And he figured things out that I hadn't anticipated, and he added certain features. Yeah. Uh, this is the back kitchen or standing desk because the the computer could be here with oh, yeah. the webcam if I was doing any Zoom conferencing, and then the keyboard can be here, which is it's perfect. Mm -hmm. right? I uh, can also sit in a chair, you know, here, here, you could. two people sitting in a chair mm -hmm. and have a place to put our, our drinks. And then, um, of course, I can cook here as well. This is a second camp stove. There's one in the uh, other unit inside the, the mm -hmm. van that I could bring out here and have two next to each other. I didn't want a fixed kitchen. Uh, because in a fixed kitchen, I'd be tied down to exactly where the stove is and the sink is. And I'm I'm the kind of person who's constantly changing things up. So <laughs> <laughs> it's better for me not to have anything fixed. I keep my tent, my tools, the screen tent, and chairs. This is electronics, primarily, mm -hmm. and my musical instruments. Nice organization. Thank you. This is a tip. So the batteries need to breathe, and they also need to be stable. Uh, how do you do that without wrapping something around your battery or putting it in a tight little container? I use the styrofoam that came with it in the box mm -hmm. because the styrofoam lifts it up off the ground. It has vent holes in it. And it also, on the top, I put it on top of the battery uh, so that I can stack things on top of the battery, but the battery can still breathe. Because and what type of battery is that? It's a Blue Eddy EB70S. Okay. Yeah, I believe it's 700 peak and 500 watt hours. Mm -hmm. if, think that's what it is mm -hmm. um 
Do you have the same kind inside? I don't remember. Uh -huh. I do. Same exact kind. Same one. And the solar panel uh, on top of the roof, this is this is the cable. It runs all the way up here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be putting a video on my channel for how I installed that. Okay. Uh, this little cable here, this extension mm -hmm. cable, runs to the battery inside the van. Mm -hmm. So I can alternate uh, for charging which battery. Eventually I'll get a, I don't know what they're called, a splitter or some kind mm -hmm. that I can plug into here and then have, somehow I need to figure it out. So they're both hooked up to the solar, but then I can just take this up to the solar when I need to as well. Nice. Which I'll do right now, actually. There we go. Okay. Good. And that's done. Easy. So now the bottom one is being charged. Nice. And th this is what powers the the vent fan mm -hmm. at the top of the ceiling. And primarily that's what it's for. And then it's a backup battery. Nice. Yeah. And how do you shower? Oh, I am a sponge bather and I love truck stops and laundromats for okay. my showers. Mm -hmm. Again, I like variety. If it, if, the, if it was always the same yeah. shower I mean, stall. that's why we're doing this, exactly. right? Exactly. I really love it. Awesome, yeah. Ishana. Thank you so much. Yeah. I've enjoyed having our friendship and hopefully it continues. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Many, many years. Oh. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Doesn't she have some fabulous features in her van? I think it's great. And there's more. Just go check out her channel, Blue Wonder Lady, and you'll find a ton of videos, not just on her van, but of some really awesome topics that she goes over. I just love her channel. You can also connect with Ishana and myself as well on the new website, nomadsdowntheroad.com. And Ishana connects with her followers through her village on that website. So check that out as well. I'll put some links in the description to make it easy for you to find those. So I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed bringing it to you. Please like, and if you haven't already, subscribe to this channel and also to Ishana's. See you on the road.